All right, everyone, we're here. I'm with the unbelievably talented, legendary director, Mr. Mikay. Um, so happy to you to be here in Texas. Um, and I have to say, we're gonna talk about First Love for a little bit, his new film. Do you and I just must say, it's one of my favorite date, first date movies. じゃあ、あの、え、ミケ監督というのはすごく伝説的なあの映画監督、えっとされているえ、あの、そうですね、映画監督監督ですけども、本当にあの、ま、このたび、え、テキサス州にいらしていただいて え、声です。そしてえ、ま、今回はあの、あの、初恋というえっと、映画館、あの、え、名義監督のえ、新作について、え、ちょっと話したいと思ってます。あの、やっぱり見ましたけども、もう大好きな、え、作品ですね。逆
that situation, right? And then you have that juxtaposed against the situation of, uh, of Monica, and uh, whose freedom has been taken from her. And, you know, those are really the central characters in uh, this story. Um, you know, then Monica, you know, she, I guess she, uh, she, her life is renewed or she comes, you know, back to life. Actually, it's really, she hasn't ever lived. So it's not like she's, you know, um, you know, being reborn or anything. She's really just, you know, starting to live for the first time. She's finally, through the development of the story, gotten some hope. And um, I see that, you know, as being probably the central uh, part of the story. <laughs> yes, that, that scene with the this little toy dog was like integral and so well shot with Yeah, and so this uh, this little guy, the scene that he's in, uh, or this guy is also one of the main characters, definitely in the film. <laughs> 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 so if someone asks you, you know, what is this film about, you can just explain to them, well, it's a film about a little donkey that's bullied by some, you know, some big bad Yakuza people and he, uh, and he, he's, and then he's, then he's, uh, ends up being victorious. So. Victorious? <laughs> that's a true statement. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, that is good. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about that uh, incredible animation sequence? じゃあ、あの、アニメのシーンについてあの、まあ、素晴らしいですけども、え、そのアニメのシーンについて語っていただけますでしょうか。あの、実は後ろ向きでは、うん。え、ネガティブなお話な部分っていうのがあって、やっ
and um, as a fan of theirs, I wanted to, you know, uh, you know, kind of protect them and not put them in a situation where they may have, you know, uh, an injury like uh, a broken bone or a broken back or something uh, because of this. So that's part of it. Um, then another thing is, you know, in another uh, interesting part of that story is that uh, when we were looking at the script, you know, at that stage uh, there was a proposal to, you know, to just erase that, to eliminate that scene completely. Um, but we decided that we still wanted to do it and we wanted to find a way to still do it. And so as a result, uh, you know, the, this anime scene is what we came up with. Awesome. Um, so bless you. With uh, so many uh, motion pictures under your belt. What's your favorite setting to film in? What's your favorite place to film in? やはりあの、え、ま、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの
映画で要はスタッフも役者も監督もそうだけど、えー、これを仕事として作る映画を作ることで生きている人間にとってやっぱり一番大事なのは作ることそのものが楽しいもちろん真剣にやった苦しみもあるんですよどっちにしようかとかっていうでもその苦しみごと楽しみわらあのあ楽しめるその結果として生まれてくるのが作品でその作品を見るのが観客も楽しいと感じてくるっていう、うん、そういう順番が必要だと思うんですよね、うんえー、でも多くの映画はやっぱり観客を楽しませるためにスタッフが、えー、苦しむ、うん、楽しむというよりも一つの歯車として<笑>そのうん、役割を果たす、うん、<笑>それだけだとつまんないなとまず我々が楽しいと思うことがみんな楽しんでもらえるようになるとそれは夢みたいなことだけどすごくハッピーじゃないですか、うんうん、はい So you know for me the way that it works is、um, You know, everyone who is working, you know, who is really kind of working in film, you know, the staff and the cast and the director and everyone, you know, who really, you know, film is their livelihood. What's important for me is for those people to have, you know, just have fun, just enjoy it.、Um, of course, there's going to be some, a little bit of pain and suffering along the way,、um, but, you know, that's balanced out with, you know,、uh, with a lot of fun, just, you know, just having a good time. And the end product of all that ends up being you know, the film.、Um, you know,、uh, I don't usually focus on making films, you know, just, you know, just making what I want fans to see.、Um, but I think you know, when fans you know, see this film that we had so much fun making, that that,、uh, that feeling gets across, that that's you know, transmitted to them. And that they also identify with that, that they also just、uh, you know, enjoy watching the film. So, you know, for me, it's, it's important to make sure that the staff、uh, you know, really enjoys the process. That becomes kind of one gear or one cog in this machine or one factor, if you will, that I think makes the film enjoyable.、Um, if we didn't have that, you know, I think it would maybe be a little bit more canned or a little bit more bo boring. And it seems like an impossible dream to you know, just you know, go and do something that you enjoy every day, that you just have fun doing, and, and have that turn into a great film. But,、uh, but that's really what makes me the happiest. That's what, that's what I hope for. That's great. That's great. Ah, so what else is it? And、uh, a fun question.、Um, you've been around,、uh, so you've, been, you've made so many movies. I have to know、uh, are there any certain scenes, scenes from film? That have always stuck with you that you think about often. じゃあ、あの家族の、えっと、映画をあの撮られたデクターの中で、やはり、えー、そうですねあの、あるシーンが特別で、やはりずっと思いあの出し続けているあの、えー、シーンとかがありますでしょうか、うん、<笑> It's a big question. まあ何か大きなスケールで爆破とか何か街がガーッと壊れるスペクタクルそういうものよりも人間をただ撮っていると全て表現できるっていうのを感じたのがというか確信間違いないなと思ったのは、うん、要は、えー「ビジター Q」でという作品で<笑>、えー、お父さん役の人が子供がいじめ自分の子供をいじめてるいじめっ子の頭をノコギリで「よいしょよいしょよいしょ」って切るんです
<笑>そのカットの本番撮ってカットかけた瞬間にすごい幸せを感じた<笑>ひどいシーンなんだけど、うん、カットなんだけどあノコギリと人間、うん、二人の人間がいれば、うん、何でも表現できるんだ、うん、っていうそういう印象を受けたそのカットっていうのはやっぱりなんかこびりついてますよねお金がなくても時間がなくても何かやれるっていう、うん、やらないのはお前のがダメだからだっていう。うん予算がないせいでも人のせいじゃないやるかやらないかはやれるかはお前,お前の問題だっていうのを常にこう突きつけていくシーンですね。Hmm. So you know one thing that's really stuck in my mind is that、um, you know it's this specific scene from、uh, some from Visitor Q, right? Yes.、Um, and you know if instead of you know really trying to you know、um, use like this you know. Huge scale, you know, like a big explosion or this, you know, huge, you know,、uh, you know, monster, or, you know, this, you know, crazy, you know, chaotic, you know, enormous scale scene, you know, just focusing on, you know, a, the person, like the, the human element,、uh, you know, will,、uh, that is enough for you to depict everything. That's really all you need to say anything. And the, when I felt, I mean, I remember very well the scene in w- that we were filming when I really felt that conviction for the first time, which, is, which was the scene of the father, you know, whose son is being bullied by another kid, and he's taking that kid and he's like, you know, cutting his head with a saw, right? My t a w Right? And, and of course, it's a really gruesome scene because he's cutting this kid's head with a saw. But yet, I felt so happy about that because I felt, I was like, wow, you know, really all you need is two people. If you have two people, That you're filming, you can express anything with just two people on a screen. Like literally anything at all. I mean, you can have all the you know, monetary limitations, budget limitations, and time limitations, and everything, and people make excuses for these things, like, oh, we, wouldn't, we couldn't do it because we had this and that. And I realized that no, it's just a matter of whether you, you do it or not. You just gotta do it or not do it. But, you know, If you have two people, that's all you need. You don't need anything else. And so I remember that scene very, very well. That's really stuck,、uh, that's, that stuck with me. All right. Thank you so much. I think we're out of time. But thank you so much. 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 Th